I, I, I feel for the first time in a long time that I can take a breath. Please, you deserve it. And are you I scared am, to take a breath? Because I yeah, know that you feel am, you have to be on guard 24 seven. Yeah. Um, like, do you, you know, know how to take, what is taking a breath? Mm. I know ne I never believed in vacations until vacation. last year. Fifty. You too. You've heard fifty. I, no, I, I took a vacation in 2015. <laughs> I did. No, I did. I'm, it wasn't I'm a wedding. You weren't. Okay. All right. Okay. I never took a vacation either. Vacation. Okay. Nap. Yes. Oh, it's still naps. Me too. Ooh, naps. I never <laughs> took naps. I Shout out to the nap ministry. To, if yes. I get to a place where I can't. Where it's too much, I will lay right in my bed for two hours. Yep. That's oh. my alarm. I'm like, I gotta check out. You know, that's self care for me. Um, I do my morning pages pretty much every morning. Affirmations or? Well, you write down from, your goal. Yeah, it comes from a book called The Artist's Way. I know the art. Yeah, 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 I know it well. The Artist's Way. That's the yeah. Artist's yeah. Way. And crucial. And I did it 30 years ago, and I've been doing it every 10 years to just sort of reset to myself. And I do those artist pages, and that's my that's my daily meditation. Because they're supposed to be blurts, essentially, and you're supposed to write them longhand. Mm -hmm. But I've been doing it so long that I type them now. But it's like, that's a meditation for me in the morning, and I always feel better when I, when I do that. Um, since mom passed, I am um, trying my hand at Buddhism. Okay. So I'm okay. um, so I'm chanting. I haven't been able to, I haven't been able to find a consistency in it yet. But my heart is there, and so I'm working towards it. I'm also uh, meditating. You know, when I feel overwhelmed, I'll just sit down and breathe and meditate. And it's it it's useful. It's helpful. Um, That's what's up, Billy Porter. All right. Yeah. No, no I, I, you know, because I, I, I can't. Sanity is important. I can't be of use if I'm insane. Yeah. And I was put on this planet to be of use. I want to continue to be of use. And the thing, and, and like you said, the activist part, I am, I've been this, you know, I came out in 1985. We went straight to the front lines to fight for our lives during the AIDS crisis. I don't know anything else. I don't know anything else. Can you pause there? And can I just tell you, I appreciate your truth in that. And I just want to tell you also, I was very excited to talk to you for all the reasons. Because like I said, I, I all the things I've watched, you, I've listened and everything. But most importantly, I was excited to talk to you because you live in your truth about status. And I, somebody very important to me has been living with this for 25, 30 years, successfully, beautifully living life out loud. And I can't wait for her to, to, to tell the world. But you, my friend, I was just in marvel of you living your truth and saying that out loud. And I I, I can't wait. Like, I can't wait for her to do the same thing. But I just, I want to thank you for that. Because you're welcome. Billy, Billy, you're welcome. Like, the thing about this business and the thing that I'm also grateful for, that it took so long, right? Why is it taking so long? It took so long because I had to be ready. Mm -hmm. It took so long because I had to live a life where I could shoulder all of this stuff that I need to shoulder. Mm -hmm. I know what I represent. I know why I'm here. I can't do what I do unless I know it. You know, I was watching Oprah at one point a long time ago. I don't know if y'all remember, but like, one year after about 10 or 12 years or something, maybe 15, she came on and she said, I'm not doing any of that shop talk anymore. Yes, she did. Mm -hmm. And something dropped and she said, live your best life. Mm -hmm. And she turned into that person. Mm -hmm. You have to know what the purpose is so that you can sit in the fullness of it. I know what my power is. I know what my purpose is. And I'm just grateful now that people are finally understanding it and seeing it. I had to come out as HIV positive to the world because I had to take the power away from the gotcha, gotcha press. Nobody has anything on me because I said it first. 
Now what? Right? This is the conversation like, I've been waiting for. Yes, 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 I yes. I said it first. Yes. So there's so there's no there's 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 full transparency with there's full transparency with me and my life on purpose because people need to see all of it. The successes, the disappointments, the failures, the flaws, all of it. Jesus was not perfect. But, you know, we make deities out of people. Mm -hmm. We forget these people were human. Martin Luther King Jr. was human. Hell yeah, he was. He cheated on his wife. Like a lot of men do. He exactly. was not a deity. Nope. He was a human being. That's what makes it better. Because we're all human. And so when you can relate to somebody's humanity, then you can see, oh, it's not over because I made a mistake. It's not over because this didn't work out. I could keep going. That person kept going. Yeah. That's why it, it, it that, you know, that's why I throw my hands up at the house. Yeah. I throw my hands up with my friends. I call my sister screaming and crying. You know, I don't throw my hands up for real. <laughs> All right. You know, like that's the self-care part too. Mm -hmm. The self-care part mm -hmm. is me being able to call my sister and throw a fucking temper tantrum. Hell yeah. Are you, <laughs> you know, how, you got a lot of kids, how, Billy? Huh? You got a lot of kids? I feel like everybody want I'm in the sense of the community. Do you have a lot of yes. kids? I feel like yeah, everybody would want you to be. I oh, that was yours? Gonna say, well, I was <laughs> yeah. just going to ask, like, are you are you fighting this battle isolated or do you have a community of people that you you have in your corner or there is it is a, there is a community um there is a community that I'm a part of and I'm so grateful for I talk about um Broadway cares equity fights AIDS mm -hmm. you know they 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 were birthed out of the AIDS crisis. And when I moved to New York City in 1990, they were just beginning. And they taught an entire generation of us, of theater artists in particular, how to activate. Mm -hmm. You know, and so I've been a part of that community since I got here. And it's a large, far reaching activist community. So that's Makes what me think I of George. Yeah. That's where I started, and yeah. um, I've picked up a lot of different people along the way. I have to be cognizant to not isolate. Okay. When I... Do you tend to I, shut down and shut in? and If okay. I'm going through something, if I'm having a, you know, a problem or an issue or, you know, I will isolate. You know, like even with my mom passing in February, you know, it's like my friends are finally like, girl, come outside. Why haven't you come outside? Yeah. Why haven't you called? You know, they call and check on me. They're like, we know you're isolating. Come out. Mm. Come out. Come out. You know, because I get in a place where I feel like I don't want to be a burden. And so much of my trauma and what I deal with in my life has existed for so long. <laughs> and I continue to work through it and I continue to become a better person. But I feel like sometimes the people who've been in my life for 30 years plus- Get tired, like, of tired of it. Yeah, I feel like- Y'all are tired of it. You know, I would never be tired of it. So I don't understand why I put that on other people. Yeah. But like, they have to be tired of this by now. You know, so I so I have to work on that. You know, I have to work on like, making sure that I reach out when I don't feel good. Mm -hmm. And ask for help when I don't feel great. I have to do that on my own. You have to let others pour into you because you are always pouring into others. <laughs>